Hey guys, this is Bingo's Adventures. Sorry about the man mic quality. Um, I'm trying my best with the man mic. Um, hopefully, uh, sometime in October, I'll be getting a new mic. I'm crossing my fingers. So, because I mentioned uh, September, I won't be able to afford one, unfortunately. So, um, but yeah, hopefully soon, um, yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be reviewing, again, um, The Trees Knees, uh, Looney Tunes, 1931, and it's another Bosco short. I believe the next, um, uh, Looney Tunes short will introduce, um, two new characters, um, and I also heard they're just rip-offs of, sorry about the mic quality, um, I just heard the rip-offs of Mickey and Minnie, named Foxy, and I forgot the other one's name, but I will know what, uh, what her name will be, um, whenever I, uh, get to it next week because I believe there's going to be two shorts and I believe that will be one of the first shorts on HBO Max I will be looking at. Yes, I have HBO Max. Um, the others um, thankfully I found on Internet Archive um, which you can literally look up every Looney Tune short and it will be uh, on the Internet Archive where you all can watch with me. Um... Unfortunately, the, uh, Censored 11 will be skipped because I already reviewed, or aka ranted about the Censored 11. Um, you should check it out. Um, it's in my channel. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the review. We basically have Bosco trying to cut down a tree, you know, to keep warm and stuff. I know a lot of you guys... Or some of you guys that don't like, um, nature to be cut. But, um, that's one of the ways we have to, like, survive in the world is, like, with firewood and stuff. That's probably what Bosco's getting. And with the tree and the squirrel. Yeah, it's a tree and a squirrel. And the uh, squirrel says, please don't cut down the tree. And they do a little dance. The uh, Apparently the tree can make little mini versions of itself and it like the little trees dances and so far this is going to be another sort of animals dancing in the woods type of short and to me it gets it gets a little bit it gets a little bit boring like if it's the same thing going on but this one has the sort of setup apparently um Bosco see, sees and sees birds and stuff and calls them cute and apparently you, we also have this one bird chewing some sort of tobacco-ish looking object that apparently is white and it hits Bosco's on the head and then he chases the butterfly and then that's when the whole musical setting, setting sets up and Oh my goodness, literally the rest of the short is animals dancing. And then we have this tree putting on a leaf skirt. And I forgot what they're called. They're like clams or something that makes noise. That's It was like very popular back then. Um, and yeah, it's just this short. If you liked uh, old Looney Tunes shorts or like the history of it, you can check it out, but other than that, nothing really interesting is going on with this short. And I know I say a lot of these times, but literally, if you just want to watch a musical, this is literally, basically the entire short of all these animals dancing. And all these all inanimate objects dancing to, like, trees and stuff. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say. Next week, there should be, um, another, 
two new characters introduced, and I'm probably going to be starting watching them on HBO Max. Yay for me. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week with two new Looney Tunes shorts. And we should be almost done with the Looney Tunes shorts by this time because there wasn't a whole lot of Looney Tunes um, this uh, in 1931. Um, some of them was Censored 11, but I'm not going to be covering those again. So, those are going to be skipped. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.